Hey, what's going on, Summoners? My name is Nathan Ng, and today we're going to be taking a look at the ultimate preseason itemization guide for every single role. With the end of the season finally upon us, we've got a great new preseason to learn. We're going to be covering some of the biggest changes that we've seen and how they will affect each and every single role. This includes a few changes in the meta overall, but don't worry, some champions are still going to be just as strong as ever. Not only will we be covering these changes, but we'll also make sure to give you guys some new builds to try out. Nonetheless, let's hop right into the video. As we dive into preseason, there's a ton of new changes that may catch you by surprise. Whether it's a completely new item or simply a reworked rune, it can be a little bit difficult to keep up. That being said, let's dive into the top lane and see just how much has changed. When we take a look at the powerful changes for the top lane, we've got the introduction of the new item Fimble Winter and the newly readjusted Turple Chem Tank. For those of you who are unaware, Fimble Winter is a new tier item for all tanks. Its unupgraded form is called Winter's Approach, which offers 15 ability haste, 400 health, and 500 mana. Similar to other tier items, you must stack it to 360 bonus mana by affecting an ally or an enemy with an ability. Once it's upgraded, you'll gain a shield equal to your current mana when you immobilize or slow an enemy. This shield becomes stronger the more enemies that are nearby. With the power of this new item, champions like Volibear can take advantage of it by having a short cooldown on their CC. And did we mention that it also grants bonus health equals 8% of your maximum mana? Overall, Fimble Winter has opened a ton of doors for the top lane. If you're able to proc its shielding effect often while also using its mana and health stats effectively, then you can easily take advantage of the massive power that this item holds. As for Turbo Camp Tank, it's got a nice change to its passive where it gains stacks over time and once you reach 100 stacks, you will unleash a burst of damage to all nearby enemies when you basic attack. This deals 25% bonus magic damage to minions and 175% bonus damage to monsters. This passive gives Chem Tank more power beyond its amazing chase potential thanks to its active supercharged. This means it's an extremely solid item on somebody like Singe who can just chase down enemies with ease. On top of this, Singe can also take advantage of the new Fimble Winter item so that he can just dive on top of the enemy carry without taking much damage. Keep watching to figure out why being able to dive on the enemy hyper carry is going to be so important this patch. Be sure to check him out before it's too late. For our final change, we've got one that will really only affect one top laner, and that's Trindamir. Thanks to the lethal temple changes, Trindamir can easily gain a ton of attack speed early on, which not only increases his damage output, but will also allow him to use his E way more often. And if you're curious about how much attack speed that is, well, at max sacks, you'll gain a bonus of 90% attack speed with an extra 50 auto range as well. So, if you're already afraid of Trindamir before, be sure to ban him this patch, or he'll easily become your worst nightmare. Just because the season is over, that doesn't mean that you need to stop improving. That being said, don't forget to check us out at ProGuides.com where you can go ahead and view our great catalog of challenger coaches that can personally create a walkthrough to your dream rank. We've got a busy schedule, but we've got you covered. Our trained roster of coaches are here 24-7 to help you guys reach your goal, whatever that may be. So what are you waiting for? Check us out! Regardless, let's get back into the video and dive right into the jungle. Moving on to the jungle, we've got a few combinations that you might enjoy. We've already covered what Fimble Winter can provide, but we have yet to talk about the new item, Even Shroud. Even Shroud is a new tank mythic item that offers 20 ability haste, 200 health, 30 armor, and 30 magic resist. On top of these amazing stats, its unique passive, Coruscation, will cause enemy champions to take 12% increased damage for 5 seconds whenever they're immobilized or immobilize the owner of this item. Oh, and did we mention that it's only 2500 gold? That makes it one of the cheapest mythics in the game. That being said, there are quite a few champions that can abuse these two items together. We won't be covering many of them, but we do, however, recommend that you check out Gragas with Fimble Winter, Even Shroud, and Predator. With these three combined, you have a ton of tank stats, be borderline unkillable, and you'll be able to be a powerful ganker. On top of this, you have decently high damage that allow you to have great gank and team fighting potential. Overall, if you're looking for a gank heavy tank jungler, be sure you check out Gragas with these new items. Now, with how well Gragas has been doing with these items, we should also note how powerful Nunu has become. Thanks to the first scuttle no longer being as important, Nunu is able to use his fast clear to quickly grab the scuttle and gank. On top of this, Nunu can match the pressure that champions like Graves and Gragas have to make sure that his team doesn't fall too far behind. There's no special build for him, but we feel like it's really important to mention Nunu since he's slowly becoming one of the strongest junglers in the game. As we dive into the mid lane, there are some massive changes with the preseason patch. Thanks to the new items, Crown of Shattered Queen and Shadow Flame may just have a lot more viability in the mid lane. These items can be used extremely well by control mages who tend to deal high amounts of DPS such as Victor. Combining Crown and Shadow Flame on Victor allows him to deal increased damage to units with his shield while also protecting himself from any and all assassins. Let's take a look at these items a little bit more in depth. Crown of the Shattered Queen provides 70 AP, 20 ability haste, 250 HP, and 600 mana which is pretty nice for a mythic item. However, its real power lies in its safeguard passive which puts what's essentially a Malzahar passive on your character. While you have this effect, you will reduce incoming champion damage by 75%, and the effect will linger for 1.5 seconds after being activated. It has an overall 40 second cooldown. 
With this effect, immobile mages are effectively able to exhaust any enemies that dive in and look for quick burst combos. As for Shadow Flame, this is the mage equivalent of Serpent's Fang. It provides 100 AP and 200 health. While it doesn't necessarily break shields, it does provide additional magic penetration against enemies who were recently shielded. Overall, it gives a nice bit of magic pen versus enemies based on their current HP up to 20 flat magic pen. While Shadow Flame may not be as ideal on Lux, she's still able to take advantage of Crown of the Shattered Queen due to her immense range and AP scaling. On top of this, a few long range mages including Lux are currently taking advantage of First Strike. This new rune provides additional gold and damage as long as you can hit the enemy first, which pretty much makes it a revamped version of Kleptomancy. That being said, it's still very strong on champions with high burst damage and range, so be sure you take advantage of it on Lux. Now before we continue on with the video, don't think for a second that we forgot about everybody's favorite pro guide tradition. For our question of the day today, we want to ask you guys personally, what is one thing that you're loving in the preseason? Honestly, while it may seem really, really weird, I think the hex gates are really fun to play around with. Anyway, be sure you let us know your answers in the comment section down below. And nonetheless, let's get back into the video and check out how ADC has changed with the new preseason patch. Moving on to our ADC role, we've got a pretty big meta shift. Thanks to utility champions in both the top and the jungle, there are far more places for hyper carries to shine. Combine this with new objective bounties and the reworked lethal tempo, and you got a recipe for a long-range scaling meta featuring champions like Jinx and Aphilios. With games taking a little bit longer and also rewarding playing from behind, you're able to reliably play for big 3-item power spikes. The new lethal tempo works similar to Conqueror, only instead of gaining attack damage per stack, you gain increased attack speed. Once you're at max stacks, you will also be granted bonus auto range, which is pretty insane if you think about it. It's important to note that the difference between Lethal Temple on melee and ranged champions is that melee champions will gain more attack speed, but less range, while ranged champions are the opposite. With the scaling in mind, this also means that anti-carry champions will also be more popular in the bot lane meta. Champions like Twitch and Zaya will become far more important as they are able to shut down hyper carries early on. This is especially true with Zaya's new Eclipse and Aerie build since it will allow her to bully the enemy laner and gain a massive gold lead very quickly. You can also take this one step further by going AP Twitch since he's able to assassinate carries for a majority of the game and can make sure that they don't scale too quickly. Overall, be ready for a nice scaling meta that allows you to play for super big spikes and be sure to touch up on your affiliates while you're at it. Just be careful, this also means that more champions will be looking to destroy you if you're a hyper carry. Before we continue on to the end of the video, if you want to join an amazing community of people like you that loves lists, talk pieces, and other things like this, check out our Discord using the link found in the description. So what are you waiting for? Join up! Nonetheless, let's get back into the video and take a look at our final few topics. Last but certainly not least, we've got our powerful and wonderful support role. Thanks to our previously mentioned Even Shroud item, quite a few engaged supports are looking to make a comeback in the meta. Thanks to Even Shroud's amazing passive, champions like Leona and Rel can easily boost their allies' damage just by simply using their kits. What makes this even better is that they're given great defensive stats for such a cheap cost, which is extremely important for supports due to their low gold income. Not only can some supports take advantage of Even Shroud, but they're also looking to take advantage of the infamous Ingenious Predator combination. This combo, for all of those who are unaware, will allow you to use Predator extremely often. Thanks to this, supports are easily able to impact the map with their roams without even having to leave their lane for too long. With the support meta sitting comfortably with roams, it's an extremely strong tactic that can be hard to play against. That being said, roaming may seem like it'll die out with the hyper carry meta, but it'll actually get stronger. Since your marksman will be looking to skill anyway, you can look to be proactive around the map and get your other early game allies ahead. Finally, some supports are also looking to take advantage of the new Glacial Augment. The reworked Glacial now creates three frozen rays that emanate from the enemy when you CC them. These rays not only slow, but they also reduce the damage that those enemies do as well. This is absolutely game changing, as it means a lot of CC heavy supports can now take Glacial in order to better peel for their team. Some champions that best use this rune are Galio and Swain. Now, pairing with the information from our ADC section, we know the meta is looking at more late game based carries. This not only further empowers engaged supports with Even Shroud, but it also brings forth Ardent Enchanters since they'll be able to heal, shield, and give ADCs massive amounts of attack speed. It seems that this season support is looking fairly diverse with its options, at least for now. And that sums up our video for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to join our Pro Guides family at ProGuides.com. We offer exclusive giveaways and classes that you won't be able to catch anywhere else, so stay tuned and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys back in the next video, but don't forget, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day. Peace.